Hello everyone! Uh, I'm back, at least for today. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on life and, you know, why I haven't been posting. But I figured I could do a little uh, loot locking video. I wanted to show you how to loot lock this Far Harbor chest. I feel like someone may have done this already. It's actually very intuitive and very easy if you know anything about the mechanics of loot locking, but um, the only stuff I found was just people reloading and just trying this chest again and again and again. But basically this is a quest reward for finishing Far Harbor. Um, it's near the Nakano residence and uh, it's just this supply stash and basically you dig it up and it always has a gun. It never has a melee weapon and it never has armor. So this is better than farming random legendaries because usually you only have a one in three chance of getting a gun. It's a one half chance to get armor and one sixth chance to get a melee weapon and a one third chance to get a gun. It's sort of a weird range of weapons as well. So. You'll see weapons that you don't normally see in high-level hunts, um, but some of the weapons are not here. And actually, my original goal when I was doing this is I really wanted a uh, never-ending double-barrel shotgun. And I'll have to farm that somewhere else. Because I think the level range is a little bit too high here. So you'll see interesting things. You'll see, like, Goss rifles, but you'll also see pipe guns. So it's this weird middle range of... of weapons um, I have a specific weapon I am going for I don't really want to say what it is because I want to try to um, see if you can figure it out as we're going but let's go over the mechanics how to loot lock this guy so what we do is we're right outside the chest um, always do a hard save in case you you know just make sure you don't screw anything up if you do you always have a place to go back to now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig and I'm going to listen for the second dig sound. And when it hits that, I'm going to do another hard save. One, two, okay. Now let's do a hard save. And I'll just let it go the first time um, because I think the timing is a little, uh, little bit off to try to get it on the first try. But anyway, yeah, so you'll see you get a bunch of cool stuff but it always includes some kind of uh, legendary. We've got an assault rifle here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's reload this weird blank save. And then what I'm gonna do is wait for the green chest to appear, and I'm gonna quick save. And if I do it right, I quick save when the green chest appears, it's gonna fade back to black, and then the green chest is gonna appear again. And then we have successfully loot locked this chest. So let's wait and see. Okay, green chest appears, quick save, fades out, comes back, and we have a 50 cal pipe bolt action rifle, rapid. So if I quick saved, or if I did this correctly, uh, we should get another 50 cal pipe bolt action rifle with a different prefix. So let's reload my quick save and let's see what we get. Now this timing is, it's not too hard to get down from what I've, when I've tested this, it's really not that bad. Um, look, never ending 50 cal uh, pipe bolt action rifle. Of course, this is not my dream weapon from this chest. So I am going to reload the blank save and we're just going to keep quick saving until we get the weapon we want. And then once it's loot locked, we can just roll until we get the prefix we want. So we'll just do this. And as soon as we hit, you see the green chest, quick save. Let's see what we got. 44 cal. Ooh, that's a nifty one. Not too bad, but not what we're going for. So you'll see all kinds of weapons, and hopefully you'll see something that interests you. 
Uh, I do know minigun is on the table here. I saw some miniguns while I was practicing this. So if you don't have an explosive minigun, this is definitely the fastest way to get one. The problem with this chest is that it's a one-time thing. So you have to be very... Ooh, combat rifle. Cool. You have to be very uh, particular with which one you get. Okay. And um, once I get in the flow here, I, I just want to talk about what's been going on because it's been several months since you guys have heard from me. A lot of you guys are totally new. Uh, I've probably gone up about a thousand subscribers since the last video. That's incredible. I haven't been putting out videos, but you guys have still been subscribing. So awesome. Really happy to see that. And I uh, thank you guys for that kind of support. You guys always end up bringing me back with your support. So um let's see here <laughs> pipe revolver pistol no thank you okay so what i want to say is the last time you heard me on video i was recording an ocean away uh, i don't know if i have mentioned it many times before but i had been living in korea for nearly 10 years working as an english teacher uh, I never really wanted to share too much about my personal life because I was always worried about my students getting access to my YouTube somehow. Uh, they're pretty crafty and they're good at finding things. So I didn't want that to be a thing. I just, I felt like I'd be very self-conscious. You know, I don't do any silly, like really wild stuff on here that would get me fired. I just feel like I'd be, I wouldn't be able to do what I wanted to do if I were concerned about students finding uh, my page. But anyway, after like eight years in Korea, I realized I should probably try to get home. Um, so what I've been doing for the past couple years is studying a totally different field. Ooh, Gauss rifle. So yeah, if you need your two shot or your instigating Gauss rifle, this is another good place to farm it. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So for the past couple years, I've been studying computer science. I got myself into a master's of computer science program, which was kind of a miracle because I don't really have a educational background in computer science. It's always just been a hobby programming. Oh, this is actually what I want. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Not the assassins. We're looking for another prefix. I wanted a flamer and this is a flamer. Uh, it's called a napalmer, but it's a flamer. You can switch it out. I'm not sure this might be the best uh, best thing to have on it. Anyway, this is what I want. So hopefully I loot locked it correctly. And let's see if we can roll for what we get. So yeah, I've been gone for... I've been doing that school while working and doing YouTube stuff for the past couple of years. Instigating. This is probably the worst prefix you could possibly get with a napalmer <laughs> because it just does such a small amount of damage per tick and your only your first tick is going to do the double so yeah that's pretty terrible um recently uh i was trying to expedite it the original plan was to graduate at the end of summer and then i was gonna start looking for a job then and come back to the states crippling is pretty cool um, that's not too bad, you know, because this hits so often that it's uh, it's an interesting combination for sure. It's not what I want, though. Quick save. Um, yes, but um, some of you were around for the last video. It's not listed anymore. It was the video I dedicated to my mom. Um, she passed away last November from breast cancer and it was horrible and I was stuck in Korea. I was under contract. I called her every day to talk to her and we were hoping she'd make it. So what I was trying to do is get myself home by January, right at the end of my contract, actually before the end of my contract, but after the semester finished, they gave me permission to go home. And it, yeah, it didn't just didn't quite work out. I rolled, I reloaded the wrong one. Um, so yeah, she passed away and I made that video for her because I, I wasn't getting any money for it um, because it had copywritten music on it, which is fine. I didn't care about that. 
uh, I was trying to promote a fundraiser for her because one of the things I had talked about before she passed away was that we wanted to make sure that her memory carried on and uh, the way we we're going to do that was through a Christmas fundraiser. She loved Christmas a lot, you know, as part of her identity, basically. And uh, so I just thought, let's, this is it, this is our weapon, this is what I want. Staggering, huge, Napalmer, chance to stagger on hit. That is faster than I expected. So we'll go ahead and play around with this, and I'll keep telling you guys about what happened. Um, let's see, let's go uh, mod this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so she didn't make it to January. But I still had plans to come home, um, and my plan was to just study. I was going to take three classes instead of two, with the idea that I... Is this... Man, it's been so long since I played, I forgot where everything is. Because I wanted to graduate early. So I was just going to study fully, and be with my mom, and stay with a relative, and not worry about work or anything. Um... But since she passed away, I was like, well, I can probably work while I'm going to school. So I was looking for part-time jobs, but then I was also looking at, for full-time jobs just to see what would happen. And I started applying for a lot of different jobs, and I applied for full-time programming jobs. And I ended up getting interviewed and, and hired for a job that I would, I would have accepted after I graduated. It, it's that kind of level of a job. Um, so it's like, I can't say no to that because that's the kind of job I would want when I graduate. But the unfortunate thing is now it's a full-time job. Plus I have my, um, you know, my three classes at the same time. So I'm doing more than full-time school and, uh, working a full-time job in a totally new field at the same time. So yeah, it's just been really busy and... <sighs> It was a fortunate thing that I got that job, but it just made everything crazy. And, you know, it's been tragic. It's been this, such a weird mix of emotions and feelings and everything else. Napalm tank, standard tank. Napalm tank just purely does more damage. Yeah, we'll stick with napalmer. Long barrel, sure. Is this modded as good as it gets? <laughs> Look at that. It's just got all the best stuff. Uh, ooh. Inferior range. So the range drops to 11. Here it is, 47, 42. You know, I kind of feel like the standard is better because the whole idea of this weapon is that you're keeping enemies at bay, melee enemies. And I want to play around with this, but let's go standard, even though it does 10 less damage. I feel like the range is going to make it better. Any name for this guy? So I've just been crazy busy. I got a little bit ahead of my homework. I'm graduating at the end of this month. Um, so I thought, yeah, let's make a quick video and just, you know, let you guys know what's going on. Um, oh, big, big thank you. Uh, a few of you guys actually did donate to the charity, to the fundraiser for my mom. And that's really awesome. We're going to do another one for sure at the end of the year. Uh, Christmas time. I'm always going to do that. You know, Christmas is for my mom. Like, uh, I'm, I've never been really big into Christmas, but, you know, for her, it's, it's going to be dedicated to her. Like, that's whatever she would have wanted, I, I'm going to do during Christmas time. I'm going to go here just because, um, I want to test it on some ghouls. So let's test it on some ghouls. Uh, that video, the Christmas Carol build guide, it was it was a lot of things. You know, I put a lot into that. I researched mods. I found perfect music. I spent more time editing that video and critiquing it than I ever had before. And, you know, it just didn't work. And I don't know. I think, you know, using copywritten music, I don't think that hits the algorithm as well. Um, I also just don't think it's something that... Uh, the people who follow my channel are super receptive to... Wait, I got too much crap. Is there something I can drop on the ground? Uh, what is this? Ugh. Why do I have this stuff? Uh, we're still over. <laughs> Duelists. Okay, we gotta... We got enough. I got eight and stuff. Whatever. Get out of here, Nukas. Okay. 
Ooh, let's see. Hey, that's pretty good damage. <laughs> um, yeah, so it just wasn't the kind of video that's going to do well on my channel. And I couldn't take it personally, you know? It doesn't matter how much time and effort you put into a video, you can have misses. You know, I can have hits on videos that I don't expect to be hits, and then I can have misses on other videos. So, um, that's just the way it is. And I was really interested. I love music, and so the idea of... My gosh, what am I doing? How much junk do I have? Why don't I just throw that on the ground? Look at all that junk. What am I doing? I should be storing this stuff. So... So the idea is hopefully staggering them. Look how staggered he is. He just keeps staggering. Yeah, this is... Oh, look. Just caused them to back up. What do we get here? A bolster egg, whatever. Um, you know, it is... It all. It's all part of uh, how things go. And, ooh, another one. So, you know, I, I had a, a lot of ideas for videos. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough ammo for this. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so that's the idea of this weapon, is it's going to stagger them, and they're never going to be able to come forward, so... Should be pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, flamer ammo runs out pretty quick, and I haven't been collecting it or anything, but... It's still a cool weapon. Um, I really wanted to spend more time to talk to you guys some more, so I'll just talk to you guys. Maybe let's... Uh, should we try loot locking something in here? Yeah, let's just see if we can get something cool. Um, this is high level, so I don't know what we're going to get that's cool. Yeah. Um, I... I had a couple more ideas for these music video themed build guides and you know the problem with those of course is that they have copyrighted music so uh, it's not going to do a lot for me unfortunately. Uh, I didn't really care about that though because I just thought it would be fun to do. Sure we'll use this guy. Let's do another hard save. Yeah just like this might be fun doing a doing a fun song. Uh, themed build. So maybe in the future I'll come back to that, but it, it just doesn't seem like it fits uh, what I've got going on on this channel. And that's fine. That's the way it goes. So anyway, uh, thank you guys again so much for your support through all this. Why is there more dead enemies now? Okay, there we go. They're all green. Um... Wow, he just didn't detect me. Plasma pistol, no thank you. Uh, so what's on the docket? So, I have to finish the Fallout perfect playthrough. I think I think I can get it done in two, two more videos. I don't think we need to do like a Mechanist Layer video or anything like that. I don't think there's much to talk about there. So I do have to go through Nuka World again. I've done that so many times and there's so much gathering and stuff there it's very tedious so i'm not sure how i'm gonna work that also the end of the main story of course and it's sort of gotten away from me in a way because like it's not perfect and what you realize going through it it's like what's it what is perfect you know the first few videos yeah like getting all the level four merchants all that stuff I feel like up to that point, it was perfect. Then after that, it's like a bunch of choices. And that's the way it goes. You just got choices and you have to take the best possible choice. So I tried my best and I know a lot of you guys are following that. And hopefully you're getting some enjoyment out of that. Um, so I'm going to finish that. Uh, I have a couple other Fallout 4 videos. Some top 10s. Probably a top 10 legendary weapons which this flamer might be added to that list um yeah i think it'll be fun to do that i might do another tips and tricks like a higher level one a lot of people are complaining that the tips are too basic or that they're not accurate 
and they're doing that from a perspective of expertise. Um, so, like, in my video I say power armor is really, really good. It is, especially if you're new to the game. If you don't know how to farm armor, if you don't, you know, you don't know how to farm legendary armor pieces, you don't know about uh, the railroad, you don't want to go through the railroad. Maybe you don't want to play a game where you go that far with the railroad to get the uh, ballistic underweave. Maybe you're not doing crafting, you know? It's like, power armor is good. It's just, it just it, like the armor's so high, it's such a huge boon, and you get it so early in the game. It's it's very good, and this is coming from me. And you know how often do you see me in power armor? Like very rarely in these videos, because I know how to get to this point without needing power armor. But if a beginner's playing, power armor's awesome. You know, I don't deny the greatness of power armor. Uh, and so I, I think people kind of missed that point. Um, another thing is I'm looking forward to Starfield. I don't know if you guys are looking forward to Starfield at all. I hope you are, because... Metal left arm, nah. Um, Starfield is hopefully going to be really good. I think it is, you know? I think Starfield's going to be awesome, and I'm very excited for it. And I, so, the last game that I really invested in early and tried to get content out quickly was Cyberpunk. And I still have a lot of people, actually, who follow my Cyberpunk videos, and I might have to do a video where I revisit Cyberpunk, since all the patches, it's changed a ton, and people are coming on and going, when are you going to make updates to your builds based on this new stuff, and... Maybe I will. I don't think I'll do build guides, but I might just do a revisiting Cyberpunk from the perspective of someone who played it early and seeing how it's changed and seeing if it's changed for the better. Uh, that'd be cool. But Starfield, I want to get in on early. I want to try to, you know, get some videos out before it's released to sort of pump it up. Uh, and I want to be one of the, you know, one of the YouTubers, Starfield YouTubers. By that time, I'm going to be done with school and everything, so I should have time for that. Uh, so let me know. Are you guys getting pumped for Starfield at all? I'm getting super excited for it. Everything I watch about it, it just looks great, and I think it's going to be really, really good. Uh, they're not turning their back on the modding community, although I don't know if they're still going to do mods the same way. They might do it all, like with the mod... I never use the Bethesda mod thing. I hope it's not required to go through it in Starfield. I hope they they let you do it your own way. You know, like Nexus mods or whatever we use. <clears throat> Being a modding channel would be kind of cool as well. Since, you know, I've gotten a lot more confident and competent in programming, I feel like I should learn more about modding and try to get into it. I, I think I could make some cool mods, but obviously that takes time away from YouTube. Switchblade. Are there any cool Switchblades? This quick draw is kind of cool. 25% less action points. You just stab over and over again. Um... Starfield? Yeah, that's going to be a big thing. Another thing is now that I'm in America... I have more reliable internet, and I have more reliable times to do things live. So I could stream. And I also have a setup. Like, I'm getting a nice setup. I have a little uh, nook in my living room where I'm, I set up my computer, and I'm starting to build the backdrop. I've got some posters and some other decorations and stuff, and it's coming together. I'm waiting for a couple other pieces from Ikea, and uh, I'm going to build a little streaming area, hopefully. And based, you know, and then I'll be able to stream and really interact with people. Uh, you know, doing this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm happy that people watch it, and I'm really surprised that people watch these videos for so long. Uh, it's pretty cool. But doing it... Uh, nothing, man. Let's... Where'd the last one go? I thought there was another one. You know, doing it actually live and interacting, I think a lot of people would enjoy that and, you know, in a time zone that makes sense and with reliable internet. 
Um, I don't think... I don't think YouTube's a full-time gig or Twitch. I don't think I'm a full-time content creator. I just... I have too many responsibilities to invest the time and effort into it. Uh, and I'm trying to become a good computer programmer. <laughs> you know, good enough to earn the salary. So, um, you know, I'll keep posting content. Ooh, a missile launcher. Crippling missile launcher is kind of cool as well because it already cripples pretty well. What's the best missile launcher? What do you never? I wish never ending. I don't think never ending can be on a missile launcher, right? Just firing again and again. Sure, let's roll some missile launcher stuff. I'm not even sure what kind of stuff I would want on a missile launcher. Um, crippling is actually kind of cool. So it's going to be this dude right up here. I'm just going to run up here and ignore the rest. and Hopefully he still has a missile launcher. Instigating is pretty cool as well. Um, let's see what else we can get. Hey, we got a little happy accident here. Yeah, I feel like starting off on YouTube is really... It's great if you are younger and you have support around you to do that and you, you're able to get better and better and, you know, I think having that support system so that you can focus on is a cool one. So this is actually, this one exists. This one exists in the game as a uh, legendary. Do you guys know which one that is? Maybe you do. Where's the Hunter's Missile Launcher from? Oh no, sorry, not Hunters. I'm thinking of Assassins. This does not exist in the game. A bunch of people are probably freaking out like, I didn't know that. Um, Assassins exist in the game. Uh, it's from Cleo and Good Neighbor. I forgot what it's called. Is it Party Starter? I think it's Party Starter. Yeah. Um, but this is really fun, and you guys are awesome. You know, one of the great things about this is you get to, ooh, this might be even better. I don't know about the, the limb one is 50%. No, but this is 20% chance. I feel like this would be better with a shotgun or something. Um, anyway, you guys, yeah, make this a lot of fun for me and uh, people who actually play the game the way that I play it or think about it the way that I think about it. That's really cool. And I, I feel like I've built a, a nice niche of people um, I love the community, you guys are on Discord, you guys still commenting on my videos, and the channel's still growing somehow, you know, and the fact that I am monetized is, what, who, how? How does this guy who puts out videos for a few months and then goes away for six months and comes back, like, how did that get monetized, you know? My friends put out content all the time, and they never get to this, you know, point. And, uh, you're probably wondering what they're doing wrong. Lucky critical shots, dude. That's kind of cool. Not doing anything wrong. I think, uh, if you're working on your own YouTube channel, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, videos from you guys. First of all, go ahead and plug your content in my comments. I don't care. And, uh, check each other's stuff out. Support each other. I've seen some really cool stuff from people who are very underrepresented and don't get enough recognition for the kind of stuff they do. And it's a shame. But one of the keys is you you find your niche and you build off of it. Uh, another one is your analytics, making sure you're studying analytics, making sure you're keeping the audience. These kind of videos where I don't, you know, it's just this long form. I don't expect good analytics on these because I didn't plan them. I didn't write a script. I didn't, you know, quick draw. That's action points. That's kind of cool. But that's okay. I'm just here talking and having fun. So it is what it is. Let's, I might just go back to that first one I found that has the, the crippling one. That might be the best one. 
That might be the best one I can find right now. So if I get crippling again, I'm gonna take it. Instigating is cool too. But let's get crippling again. That's crazy, the first one I found. Um just running out of weapons to farm now. And trying to come up with ideas for the top 10 weapons is a little tough as well. Because I'm trying to do it in a way that's interesting. I don't want to just go instigating this, instigating that, two shot this, two shot that, you know. I want to try to make it so I'm only repeat I'm not repeating the same uh, prefixes over and over again, and I'm not repeating the same weapons over and over again. So I wouldn't want two shot Goss rifle and then instigating Goss rifle. That doesn't make sense. So instead, I'm trying to only use the prefix once, and I'm trying to only use the uh, weapon once, and I'm also trying not to copy weapons that exist. Lucky. Uh, in fixed, like fixed legendaries, I think we consider those unique weapons. Like, I wouldn't want to do the Overseer's Guardian because, or sorry, I wouldn't want to do a two shot combat rifle because that already exists as the Overseer's Guardian. Um, so I want variety, I want it to be interesting, and it means it's not really the top 10 best. It might just be the top 10 interesting weapons. So I'm working on it. Uh, there's our. There's our party starter. That one's party starter. Yeah, so I wouldn't use that one. I don't I don't think a missile launcher would make my top 10, to be honest. Um, it's a tough call. It's tough to figure out what to put on the list. I want a variety. I want to make sure there's melee weapons getting good representation, even though I don't use a lot of melee weapons. This guy that I'm using right now, Wounding Gatling Laser, would definitely go on the list. I keep getting other comments as well with, you know, people who don't know about the restrictions and I have to explain it. They're like, why don't you want an explosive Gatling laser? And I'm like, I would love an explosive Gatling laser. It just doesn't exist in the game. I would love a never ending missile launcher or a never ending uh, Batman. It just doesn't exist. Quick draw. And also the discussion about what is cheating, what is not cheating from my very first perfect playthrough video. That one has been getting a lot of comments lately and a lot of different perspectives, which is really cool. Uh, I got people saying that, you know, what I'm doing is cheating and then other people saying console commands are not cheating um, because Ooh, that's just a purely nice one. 25% more damage just across the board. So, you know, it's it's all good. Whatever people uh, believe, that's the main thing is it's a single player game. Uh, you're not hurting anyone else by playing how you enjoy playing. So play however you want. If you want to self-impose restrictions, whatever you like to do. Speaking of self-imposed restrictions, I probably will do something at 5,000 if I get there. And then I made a promise at 10,000 I will do a survival playthrough. Um, I know a lot of you guys are into survival, and I appreciate you for that. That's cool. Uh, it's not something that I enjoy at all. If you played this when the game first came out, you would, you know, you'd know that survival wasn't originally in the game and it was patched in later. And the reason it was patched in later was because people were, were clamoring for it. So I think they did a decent job of adding it in, um, but you can tell it wasn't in the original game design. And the restrictions of survival, it to me, it just doesn't fit into the game like it, it doesn't work for me you know it's not it's the idea of not being able to fast travel and having to walk across the map if you play through the main story it just doesn't make sense you're you're going back and forth to virgil's cave and stuff like you're just adding these long trips that don't do anything for you oh you get to enjoy the map and you know you get random encounters and stuff yeah i get it but it's, it's just, it feels like the story was made with quick travel in mind. The pacing of the story. 
and with these long gaps in where you're walking across the map back and forth it it kills the momentum of the game for me and the diseases like the randomness of them like you do everything correct and you still just randomly get a terrible disease and it's like what is going on this is awful and then people who add mods to negate the challenges i'm like what what like save anywhere mod for survival what what's the point then like isn't that part of the whole thing is that you can't save anywhere also the adrenaline thing it's a cool idea that you do more damage the longer you go but it's just this weird gambling thing that it's, it seems like it's better for speed runners than it is for uh, just normal players it, yeah, I don't want to get off on too much of a rant about it. I think I already did. But what I want to say is that if you enjoy playing survival, there's nothing wrong with you. And I still appreciate you guys. And, uh, you know, you guys are still awesome. So, whoa, did I just die? No, I just ate a corpse. <laughs> I was jumping, trying to pick this guy up, and I ate the corpse instead. Interesting. But... I've made a promise to Barack Obama, who commented on one of my videos. I'm not sure if it's the real Barack Obama. It might have been. He might be a fan. You know, who knows? But I made a promise that I would do survival at 10,000 uh, subscribers. So I will do that. So we got a lot of things on, on the way. Yeah. Whoa, somebody made some noise out there. And, you know, promises to keep. Uh, back being back in the states is crazy by the way after living out of the states for almost a decade it's very interesting to readjust back to life in the states it's it's been a learning process so uh, still acclimating to everything i can say that i did enough time in korea that i don't miss it yet like i don't miss a lot of things about korea because i feel like i experienced everything there i really immersed myself fully i didn't uh, all my friends are basically korean for the most part like I, I was i was in korean culture i ate korean food you know i didn't try to find hamburger restaurants and stuff like that very often most of the time i just ate korean food um you know, I spoke Korean most of the day, except when I was teaching English, of course. Um, so I, I feel like I did everything I needed to do in Korea. And if you're somebody who lives in a country and you're interested in traveling and going somewhere else, do it. You know, if you can, find a job. One of the most annoying things I ever experienced in Korea were these people who are called uh, bag packers. And I don't know if you know about bag packers. They're not backpackers, they're bag packers. So what they do is they they only save enough money to buy the plane ticket. And then once they land in the country, they put out signs and say, please help me achieve my dreams of traveling across the world. There we go, there's our crippling missile launcher. Please help me achieve my dreams of traveling across the world. I, I uh, you know, you can help support me by donating to my trip. So they come without a plan and they expect other people to fund their trip. And they expect locals to. They write their signs in both languages, in Korean and in English. And, like, these people who are working hard. And often they're doing it not just in uh, Korea, but they're doing it in, like, third world countries where the average salary is crazy low. So they're coming from a country that, you know, where people make a lot more money on average and... There's just begging for begging for money from locals who are barely getting by. And also there's actual other beggars there who are actually homeless and in desperate situations and they're taking, you know, possible donations away from them. So what I'd recommend is either save your money for a trip or find some way that you can work abroad. For me, it was English teaching, and that's probably the, the easiest way if you're interested in living in uh certain countries korea not china anymore they actually closed down a lot of the foreign uh studios and stuff like the english academies and stuff like that they closed them all down but japan korea 
uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, there, there's a lot of different places you can work as an English teacher, and you some places you make a lot of money, some places you make enough to get by. It's a pretty cool experience, and I planned to go for one year, and I ended up staying for almost ten. So you can see how it's easy to get hooked in, and it's easy to um, get into your rhythm in another country, and I definitely did. All right. I feel like I talked enough. My voice is starting to go away. I don't really talk as much as I used to because when I was teaching, I'd have to talk every day to do my lessons, but now it's I'm just a computer programmer, so uh, I work from home like three days a week, three days out of five. The other two days I go to the office, but most of the time I'm just sitting by myself and not interacting with people. Um, so there's a good chance to uh, get to talk again for a while. So what did we get today? We got two weapons. We got a crippling missile launcher, which is pretty cool. And we got a staggering napalmer, which is also pretty cool. I'm going to have to buy more ammo for this to test it out some more. Not a bad run. And I hope you guys uh, learned how to, how to loot lock uh, that loot lock the, the far harbor chest. Have you guys seen that strategy before? I, I literally, I tried to look. I promise I did. I didn't steal it from anybody. Um, and I'm assuming that someone has done it. It just, it doesn't make sense to me that no one has done it. I just didn't see it. Keep that guy. This is fine. Yeah, put that guy away. Mm, I guess I got to do the cappy jump. So anyway, yeah, let me know uh, if you've seen that strategy before. Let me know your YouTube channel. I'm trying to think of everything we talked about today. Yeah, if you got a YouTube channel, feel free to feel free to plug it. I promise you, if you comment your YouTube channel, I can promise for the at least the first month that this video is out. If you plug your YouTube channel, I will look at it, and I'll even try to comment on one of your videos. After that, though, I, I can't promise anymore. So. Get your YouTube plug it down in there in the comments. Uh, let me know how you're feeling about Starfield. If you looked at it at all, if you think it's going to be good, if you think it's going to be terrible, what are your concerns about it? What makes you excited for it? Uh, would you watch content that revolved around that game? And uh, yeah, just say hi. You know, I miss you guys. I miss making videos. It's not something that I've been avoiding. It's just I've been so busy, um, like day. During the day, I do programming, and then I get off of work at 5, and I do programming for the rest of the night. Uh, it's almost done. I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm excited to get back to uh, making YouTube videos and actually planning them. Uh, I'm excited for the future, not just, you know, on YouTube, but in life in general. So, yeah, it's nice to catch up with you guys, and... Hope to hear from you in the comments. Check out the Discord. And I'll talk to you guys next time. All right, bye.